Hey, what is good, my fellow YouTube fam? It's your boy Aaron speaking, and today, bro, you already know. You already know, obviously, from the title and the thumbnail, but Juice World Fighting Demons in my hands right now. Now, I definitely got to talk about the way his label handled this shit, bro. Not just the vinyl situation. First of all, this shit was like 55 bucks, bro got me fucked up i ain't gonna lie like vinyl records are super expensive nowadays it's crazy some are 30 some are 50 so like come on i did like payment uh what is it like every week like a little payment plan so it doesn't hurt my soul so it don't hurt my wallet as much you feel me but um recently they added three new songs to the album that's the, the digital age that we live in is pretty wild but they added the song cigarettes that's been like a long you know like a fan favorite for so long you know so it's finally official but they added it you know to the uh, to the album which the music video i was not a fan of at all to be honest like i know people are kind of tired of the animated shit but hey if you got to do that it makes sense do it i don't know i didn't really rock with the anyways they fucking added legends and rich and blind to fighting demons bro if that's not money hungry, then I don't know what to tell you, bro. I don't know what else that is. Those are songs from four years ago. And them shits got like, what? I don't even know how many views them shits got on fucking Spotify and YouTube and all that, bro. Like, the fact that they added that is clearly because they know this album didn't perform too well. I don't know. I think it sold like 160K first week, which you would think is great, right? But I think Legends Never Die sold like 600k, some shit like that. <sighs> I don't fuck with that, bro. I don't fuck with that. Like, at least it's not on here. You know, not on the physical shit because they added it after these were, you know, shipped, I guess. But, um, I don't know, man. This album definitely has some bangers on it. Don't get me wrong. I definitely enjoy a handful of these. But damn, really? You're going to add Legends, Rich and Blind, really? You couldn't keep those alone. Anyways, we're here. Juice World. And I'm actually tight because I copped this pretty early, like the standard black edition. And then they want to end up dropping more variants after I copped it. Like, I'm an idiot. I've been collecting vinyl for a while now. And I, duh, you know they're going to do that shit. There's like a Target version. You know, you know how that shit goes, bro. Standard black. Fuck it, bro. Can't go wrong with the, with the, you know, can't go wrong with the simple shit, huh? Fighting demons. Rest in peace, Juice World, man. Yeah, that the hands thing, still to this day, is, is an interesting, uh, interesting choice. It like, it's like weird. It's like, I don't even know what that is. It, it's just weird. But the actual cover itself, I think, looks pretty sick, honestly. I think this is pretty dope. I know that fucking circle's annoying on the thing, but... This is the back. Pretty sick, honestly. This is pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. So let's open that bad boy. Oh, this hard. This hard. This is hard, fam. Come on. You know Juice fuck with the anime shit. Always collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards and shit like that. <laughs> this is hard. Hey, fighting his demons. I like this, man. This is, this is sick. Let's let's open this bad boy. Hopefully there's like a poster of some kind, which it seems like there is. Let's get it. If I pay f this amount of money, I want something else in here. Okay, we got the, you know. Okay, same thing as the... Okay. Okay. Got a little picture in there. R.I.P. Juice World, man. Got like the, you know, all that kind of jazz. All this stuff in there. Yeah, man, shit. Juice World. Let's check the sleeves. Oh, yeah, this hard. Oh, yeah, this hard. <laughs> Yo, take a shot for every time I say, oh, yeah, this hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, this nah. This is sick, though. I fuck with this. Let me see. Yep, standard black. Here comes my dad. Randall's album tonight, Jamie. Okay. Talking about the Knicks. 
don't know if you guys can see that. Let me turn this off real quick. Maybe you can see it better. Juice World Fighting Demons. Oh, yeah, this hard. This is a legendary photo. This is a legendary photo right here, fam. Super legendary. And of course, this is super gas. Hard as fuck. Let's see if there's anything different on this end. Nope, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, man, shit. What's your favorite song off this project, man? I know it has a lot of mixed you know, reactions and shit, but I think my favorite is probably Go Hard. Like, Go Hard Part 2, the fact... That's another thing, bro. They leave Go Hard 1 there, and then they add Go Hard Part 2. Why couldn't you just put Go Hard 2 as just Go Hard originally? Makes no sense to me, bro. And Go Hard 2 is not even on the vinyl. That's that's the whack shit. I don't know, man. Um, shit. I definitely really enjoy... Rockstar in his prime is cool. Not Enough. I love Not Enough. That song is super gas. I fuck with that shit. Burn super hard. Already Dead is like bittersweet to listen to. You Wouldn't Understand is cool. Wander to LA. There's something about his vocals that they didn't mix it right. That shit's weird. Um, Feline was alright. That was super alright. My Life in a Nutshell was pretty dope too. It's it's, it's, it's an okay album, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, let me know your favorite song off this project. And uh, yeah. Stay tuned for my Machine Gun Kelly documentary dropping real soon. And I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.